Gonna show you about these uh, Easy Trail bale baskets. I've been using them almost 25 years. I bought three of them back in 1994. Uh, I've used them going down the road for miles and miles. Uh, so I've used them way beyond what they were intended for. So over that process, I've done a lot of modifications and repair to them. Let me show you what I did. Okay, so they come, these Easy Trail bale baskets come with a uh, telescoping, standard agricultural tongue those finally wore out years ago and because uh, what I do is I pull these down the road behind pickups and go and deliver hay with them so I put on a regular ball hitch which ended up making these things tow down the road a lot easier and I actually think they're easier to hook up than using the telescoping tongue uh, when these things come you know they're just tack welded really cheap this is just a real thin gauge steel uh, so, you know, you can see over the years I've had to weld onto the chutes. Another thing is, when these bale baskets, uh, back in the early 90s, they came with a single caster wheel. Now they come with a double. So what I did is I cut out this mid-frame member because you needed these double caster wheels come with a larger spindle. It's like a, over a two-inch diameter spindle, and the single wheel is a lot less. So I had to add a bigger piece of steel in here, and when you do that, these have to be canted. This steel's canted like that, that, that cross member. So I cut out the old member, welded that Another in. Another thing that can happen to these over the years is this part of the frame here, which holds the whole rear end of the basket up, rust out. And so I've had to replace on all of them that member except for one. And you can see what I did here, so then you know, I, I took a big piece of, uh, this is quarter inch uh, thick steel wall tubing, two inch diameter tubing, and I took and bent this in my table forge, my coal forge. There's another one that I did. So that eventually does go. Uh, you know, I braced it up. Now I'll show you another basket where I over, I bent this too much and weakened it. So you might not want to bend them, you might want to cut and weld because the bending and the heating weakened it and caused a couple of them to break, and I'll show you These that. These came with a different type of latch years ago. The latches have since been, I replaced them years ago. Uh, when you do this, make sure that you add this uh, bushing in there, like about a three quarter inch pipe bushing. Otherwise, you won't get these things open. The original cable and spring that these came with, uh, to open the gates, those, those ended up being really cheap right off the bat. Uh, so I've, I've just added a, a lot heavier duty cable. You can see right there on the latch, I've welded a big heavy pin. So I've beefed up a lot of stuff on these. This is what it looks like hooked up to the truck. Uh, so with that ball hitch, I also added uh, safety chains on. And uh, I only had one incident where the tongue fell off. Right after I put these chains on, probably a dozen years ago, the tongue fell off and the bale basket would have ended up out in a swamp. So going down the road behind a pickup. So I do use safety chains if you're going down the road. I did at one time try to put lights on here. Um, that just didn't work. There's not a good enough ground. These things bounce all over. So I don't use lights on them anymore at this all. This is where I weakened up that cross member, I mean that frame, uh, by bending too much and had to come in after the fact and shore that up and fix it. Same thing over here. I had bent it too much. It's a brand new piece of steel. She got another 20 years worth out of it. But uh, and you can see what I did here is I had to go there and weld that and uh, fix it that way, different way. I do welding on these. A lot of times I'll use, uh, I ended up having a lot of scrap horseshoes. And they just have a great radius to reinforce, you know, between angles and attack them on there. Because you're going to get, there's a lot of areas on here where, uh, you know, this type of steel starts bouncing around and vibrating going down the road. And uh, you'll end up with a lot of breakage there and you constantly got to be tuning stuff up. If you're using them, you know, around your farm, 
just going from the field to the barn, you're probably never hardly ever going to have get the wear and tear that I've experienced with these. Other than that, these things work great. The hay just slides up the chute. Uh, and the ease of dumping has always been a big plus. You know, like I say, I've had these almost 25 years. I'm 24 years, three of them. And uh, I don't have any intention of buying any new ones. You just keep keep working on them. The frame stays in good shape, the solid part. Uh, you know, like this and all that, that main cross member. It's just that, yeah, when you get under here, after years and years and years, probably could have prevented that if it would have cleaned out old hay shaft and all that, not allowed it to corrode. Uh, these have been stored outdoors. Uh, I didn't have a barn to put these in. Get to this metal, you know, go. So you can see I added in some plate and shaped it. Uh, but they do work good. Maybe I'll make a video later on of, of me actually using these.